everybody, Asian action actor here, and I am back, and oh my god, Final Fantasy VII Remake is here, finally, after 23 years, okay, fine, that's kind of unfair, after 5 years. Now, Square Enix did admit that this, the announcement for this game was way earlier uh, than, than they wanted it to. Because, like, they barely had anything, but then they announced it as a real title back in 2015. And it resulted in a lot of fan backlash ever since, because for, like, until, I think, 2017 or 18, there was, like, barely any word from them. But now it's here, it's a real game, and first of all, I gotta apologize for the delay in my YouTube videos, because yesterday, exactly when the game drops, like, after days of me, like, prepping for this game, making sure everything was perfect for me to record this, when it dropped in my region, my, my computer crashes. And it was severely depressing, and I had to do like a clean uh, install of Windows and all my programs and all of that. Thankfully, none of my data, at least none of my data that was too important, was erased. I was careful enough with my data that that didn't happen. But still, I, I wasted like a day and a half doing that. But now, trials are over, I've waited long enough. I've waited since 2015, then the delay from like what, what was it, March 3, right? Then April 10, then the delay yesterday, an additional delay because fate decided to screw me over by killing my, my desktop working game PC. Now it's here, okay, it's here. So I pre-ordered this, like, I actually pre-ordered this from a brick and mortar, no kidding, back in like December, but... Uh, we are on lockdown right now in Metro Manila, Philippines, and the earliest I can get my my actual copy is possibly in early May, possibly. Um, so about two weeks ago, I decided to pre-order this from the uh, PSN store, and that's why I have all this stuff, like the digital art book over here in the mini soundtrack. Let's actually take a look at them right now. And, and also because of that, I have the uh, the summons. And yes, as you notice, I have the uh, the custom theme. Gameplay recording pause because you entered a block scene. Sorry, Square Enix, I'm still recording this. Yo, that's interesting. I thought this would just be straight music, but then there's like more things, right? What, what is this? Nice bike, by the way. Look at, look at the design. Holy shit. Now... Okay, I watched Advent Children recently because of all the hype for this game, and Advent Children has a lot of good and bad, but amongst the good is the designs. Now, Nomura can't tell a story to save his life, but he can certainly design the hell out of everything. He's probably one of the best people in the world that makes like realistic anime designs, as evidenced in Advent Children and here. And wow, Advent Children already, it actually the designs at least in the animation hold up to this day, 2020. But man, this is greatly exceeding it. This is a video game, not, not just a movie. Oh! This is the prelude. Oh, oh okay, let's not, it, it, this is actually super neat, but I don't want to like listen to that too much. Uh, because it's like super spoilery. I believe we're gonna hear some super spoilery music and I wanna hear a lot of those music tracks for the first time when I play the game with you guys. So let's take a look at the uh, digital art book then. Music is amazing guys, music is like super amazing. I am losing my mind and I haven't even actually played the game yet. Again, gameplay recording pause because you entered the blocked scene. Sorry Square Enix. Okay, what are we in for? Okay, we saw that. Nice, there's like translation. It's like the original Japanese above and then like translation below. That's very nice. Oh, oh! Toad Cloud! Oh no! Oh, let's. Uh, I, I don't want to look at it at, at this anymore, guys, because like this is going to be like super spoiler, isn't it? Okay, okay. Let's back out. Let's back out. Let's actually play the game because like we want our initial. Um, 
we want our initial reactions to be playing the game, not this bonus stuff. We'll look at the bonus stuff um, more during and most likely after I finish the game, just so I can get the spoilers out of the way and I can create a better commentary for you folks then. It's finally here! It's finally real! I mean, it was real. It, oh! Epic wallpaper! I mean, it was real when the demo dropped, all right? It wasn't just trailers or interviews or articles or, or pretty pictures anymore. It was an actual game, but it's a full game now, all right? It's an actual full game now, or at least as full as it's going to be, being episodic and all. I love the imperfections on the Buster Sword. You see it? Because it's like a giant blade. It's not like ex exactly straight and... Oh my god! Was it? What is this melody hitting my ears? I mean, I, we already heard this from the um the uh the soundtrack the bonus soundtrack earlier but goddamn is this track good so these should all be already good um but we'll see i changed some things to my uh specifications oh yeah that's the other thing though i'm definitely gonna play this most likely twice i don't know if there's like a hard mode um or new game plus or whatever it is but, oh god, the music is so good. I can't concentrate, guys. But yeah, the first time, since I'm... Usually with Japanese games, I play everything like... Um, Japanese, in Japanese language. Like, uh, Persona 5. When I played that the first time, I, I preferred the Japanese dialogue. Uh, but if the uh, voice cast is impressive enough for me, I play it in uh, English first, then Japanese after. God, the music! I almost don't want to start the game because I want to just listen more to this. Mm. God damn. Well, we have to do this. It's a video game. <laughs> Not just the soundtrack. Defaults. Oh, wait, wait. Camera controls. What camera controls would you like? Use a right stick to test camera move. What? Oh! You can move the thing! Ah! The game could have just been that, and I would have been... Here's my $60. Default, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, we already know what this is. Wait, there's an easy, normal, and classic? I thought it was only classic and normal. What the fuck? Normal is already easy, guys. Come on. Uh, select the difficulty of the game. This setting can be changed at any time in the options menu. Uh, classic is recommended if you want to focus on using commands in battle. Yeah, these are for the people that complain that it's too... The gameplay is too far removed from the original. Um, and this is where the player-controlled character will attack and defend automatically, allowing you to focus on... Gee, the music! Allowing you to focus on executing commands. I'm sorry, I can't focus on my commentary. Ah, music is getting to me. The battle difficulty is the same as easy. All right. Easy mode is... Uh, you you should you should select this if you want to enjoy the story without worrying about battles. I mean, we have YouTube for that, right? We have people like me, and then gamers' little playground and so on that do that. So might as well have some challenge, right? It's already an easy game. Let's not take away all the difficulty. So we're gonna go with the standard difficulty. I will select this because I want to fully experience battles as well as the story. Cause you know what? I played the demo a bunch of times. And gameplay, especially the battles, were so good. Oh, uh, this this part is in here as well. Because in the demo, you start out already immediately with Aeris and the live stream, that broken pipe, and the stalker in the alley, and stuff like that. We don't get this part from the trailer. The uh, they release this. Oh, you know what? This is a, this is a good callback to like the epilogue thing. Um. Uh, Nomura. Um, with Red 13 in the future, I mean. With, like, that's what they show. Then you go to, like, Midgar. And that's also to show that the land outside of Midgar is already dead and dying because they sucked the planet dry, as Barrett so eloquently tells us a bunch of times. But, God, dude, look at Midgar. It looks amazing. Now, Insomnia in Final Fantasy XV already looked amazing, especially in the movie, right? Because you don't get to explore it very much in the game, at least in its prime. But they're taking that and making it... Oh, the music is even better than what it was in the trailer before! 
At least, from the actual game it does. Jesus, wow. Holy shit. Anyway, so they're taking what they began in Final Fantasy XV and just made it even more alive, even more expanded. It's the playground! Yo! Fantastic. So this is the upper plate, clearly, because there's a sky. Neat. The Moogle playground. At least, for me, it looks like a Moogle. Reactor! You are gonna be sterile, kid. I mean, you're gonna have electricity and technology and stuff, but you're gonna be sterile, kid. And Avalanche is not gonna stand for that. I mean, probably. Oh, this is where the demo starts. Because they're, they're really painting Shinra as super bad guy, so it honestly wouldn't surprise me. Even if that's probably not canon. I don't know. Wait. Ah. Oh, the music. Yeah. I better be careful, because, like, the music just knocks me out every time, and I'm like, just stop, stop talking. Stalker, in three, two, one. Right on time. <laughs> you better get out of there, Ares. The cops already don't help you. They're not gonna, they're gonna help you even less in that dank alley. Which actually is, looks really awesome. Theme song sung by Yosh. Survive, said the prophet. Well, alright then. Uh, take that, you you nice looking flower, you. For whatever reason. Up, oh, building up, it's building up. Hmm. Oh god. Oh god. I better be really careful to just not stop talking every few minutes because the soundtrack just kills me, guys. Loveless. Oh god. This makes me remember the corniness of Crisis Core again. Here we go, here we go! Shinra Tower, the reactors, Midgar from above! Man, oh! Man, lower plate. Oh! That's awesome. I was saying, like, you can actually clearly see the separation between the upper plate and the lower plate when zooming out like that. So you see there how it kind of separates from the upper and lower plate. Okay, back to the demo. Just play the demo like, I don't know, like a fifth time. I played the demo at least three times. I don't remember if I played it a fourth time. So this is going to be like the fourth or fifth time I'm going to play through this part. Unless they change something. But I'm going to assume that it's going to be exactly the same until the Scorpion boss battle. These guys are gonna get fucked up. Now, like I mentioned in the demo, I do like these guys' designs. Especially rendered as realistic like this. Bro! Bro! What happened, bro? Where'd you go? Oh god, who are that? Oh! oh mommy. That's what he was thinking. That's the dialogue. He had dialogue, guys, and they cut it out. I'm like the director's cut of this game. Blade! I mean, Barrett. It's like, Barrett is literally Blade with a gun. Instead of a sword, Get you know? Get down here, Merc. Get down here, Merc. Yo, superhero landing for, of course, our hero, Cloud Strive. Alright, let's play the demo. I actually have not played the demo since it came out. Since, like, I released my YouTube episodes of it. I played it like a bunch of times after I released the YouTube- No, I played it like once more after- Wow, this is really fast. I played it like once more after I uploaded all the YouTube stuff, just because I love it so much. But I haven't played it since, and that was like a month ago almost. Or about. Yeah, that was about a month ago. So I don't remember the controls. The game's gonna remind me though, but let's screw up these boxes in the meantime. I hate boxes! Cloud, I hate boxes strife over here. I sped up- I sped up the camera movement, so let's oh! probably like- who goes there? Like, slow that down a bit. You're up. Okay, square is attack. Use square to attack with Cloud's sword. Hold square to unleash an attack capable of hitting uh, nearby enemies. Can I use Punisher mode already with this? You're coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. Yeah, I can. I can already use 
like uh, Punisher mode like that. Go back to the live stream, you bozos. Okay, still no menu. Let's slow down that camera movement. It's a bit too fast. I want it fast, but that's a bit too fast. Who in the hell? It's probably for like speedrunners. Hands where I can see him. Not, not for a casual first playthrough. It's a bit too dizzy. Have fun. I will. Thank you, Jesse. Punisher mode is better mode. Oh, uh, the ATB gauge. The ATB gauge fills as time passes, and by attacking with square, oh, and by attacking by square, once a bar is full, your character can perform special actions. Yup. Charges can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking the enemy to fill the gauge. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. Oh god. Was Brock again? Is Brock? Uh, you can expend the ATB gauge charges to perform battle commands such as using abilities, magic, or items. Press circle and try using one of the commands. Enough of this. Uh, let's use focus thrust on this bozo. <laughs> Die! Okay, that it? Yep. Uh, checking data out of battle. Okay, now we have the main menu. Main menu and map. When not in battle, you can check the map, open menus, and view various kinds of information. Use options to open the main menu. Yep. Uh, press the touchpad to access the map and check your various objectives. Auto actions. When the... When the auto action icon appears. Uh, move your character close to it to automatically jump, crouch, or perform whatever other action is required. See, I like this better because in Final Fantasy XV, you still had to like press confirm to do it. Now you just have to just uh, push forward. Because um, you're already pushing forward either way. So it just makes everything smoother and more natural, you know? Okay, let's change the speed of that camera. From the main menu, you can view your inventory and gameplay status as well as save and load the game. First save! Yes! Save that yeah, first save! That is actually taking quite a while. I'm, I've, I've been spoiled by my uh, gaming PC's SSD. That is taking 10 times longer than I would want. First game save, guys! 8 minutes and 30 seconds. 7 seconds in. Macro Reactor 1, Ticket Gates, Chapter 1, The Destruction of Macro Reactor 1. DLC! Yeah! We, we get our pre-ordered DLC things. Now, I'm also glad that I pre-ordered this digitally because I heard fairly recently, actually, like just a month ago, just like right before or during or right after the demo drop, that you don't get the Chocobo Chick when you pre-order the uh, physical copy. Now, I'm sure that they did mention that o you only get Cactuar and Carbuncle, who is adorable, actually. So is the Chocobo Chick um, in, the, in the physical copy. But I'm like, why would you just not include everything in, in, in both the, uh, the deluxe editions? Like, whether it's digital or physical, you know? Why would they do that? Right? I mean, do they want, like, the digital sales to be way more than the physical sales or something? I mean, it is the... 2020s it's a brand new decade so i don't know man but uh i think that just sucks so i would have hated to like get my um physical deluxe copy and just be utterly confused why i don't have chocobo chick but i have him now i have to buy a game twice though <laughs> to get him but whatever i probably worth it cactuar summoning materia summons a cactuar okay it charges head first to deliver painfully spiky attacks i wonder I, I believe, like, if it's anything like the original game, you can only, like, get new materia starting from the second chapter, so... That's probably, like, the first time we could equip these these guys. Chocobo Chick summoning materia. Summon a Chocobo Chick. Runs hither and thither, casting elemental spells. Okay. Carbuncle summoning materia. Summon Carbuncle. The glittering jewel in its forehead grants allies extra strength. Oh! It's not protection this time. Uh, we noticed this before. Mineral water uh, clear icicle from the icicle in. And I don't remember if I noticed this during the demo, my demo playthrough. I noticed this eventually but I don't remember if I included this in my commentary for the um, for my demo playthrough. Benora White is 
a, um, a reference to Crisis Core. It's Angeal's. There we go. Angeal's hometown, where they have the infamous dumb apples as a primary uh, export. They are apparently delicious, fresh, and healthy. Banora White quality dumb apple juice. What's this? Oh, it's a Bob. Red Lord Energy Drink. Cute. Hair tonic, ideal scalp care. For astonishingly radiant and spiky hair. I believe I missed this also in my demo commentary. But yeah, I noticed, th I noticed this as well afterward in my succeeding playthroughs. Um, this is the hair product Cloud uses for that very unique anime look he has. Okay, let's jump! Yo! Drop the weapon! Uh, how about no? You got this. They were just hiding yeah, behind that pillar said. the whole time while we were like reading posters and stuff? Okay then. Could have been a bit more productive, guys. Avoiding attacks. Okay. Yeah, okay, I do remember. Guarding was R1. Guarding and evading. You can defend against enemy attacks by pressing R1 to guard or X or cross to evade. A successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered and also charges your ATB gauge. You're coming with us! No! Oh. Are you... No, are any of you alive? I didn't even use my abilities on you, you blokes. Shinra. Merging innovation with creation. What we do for Midgar and for you. Shinra Electric Power Company. I think no destructible items yet. Interacting with the world, I just mentioned, right? Use triangle to open chests or doors or to talk to people. If you see the word hold, then you need to hold down triangle rather than just pressing it. Let's do that. What's in this chest? Two potions, nice. We're loveless! Opens June 25th, 6 p.m. Mark your calendars, guys. Loveless. Uh, destroying objects. If you find boxes with the Shinra logo, press square to smash them with your sword. They may contain useful items such as potions that restore HP or Mako shards that restore MP. Uh, avalanche and Shinra! Wreck Shinra shit! Cutscene <clears throat> time, come on. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh... He uh, sure does! What was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest voice of Voice acting us. is great. I'm glad to have him. Love the voice cast of this. <laughs> I'll enjoy the Japanese This is a one-time gig. In when it's New done, Game Plus or we're whatever done. mode. Uh, uh, oh, poor Wedge. He is Wedge, right? I keep... Enjoy the work with oh, Big Sorry. God damn it. What the hell? We'll enjoy the look I knew that, time. but I still... S oh, Here they have additional dialogue. You can read it in the left. Are what people notice first. Guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. <laughs> Love the dialogue in this game, man. There's so much, and it's all so good. Much more Shinra billboards. Uh, same thing, but with different design. Let's move on with the story, sure? Yeah? We saw all this in a demo before. So far, aside from the saving and. That's about it, actually. It's about exactly the same as the demo so far. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. He would. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Biggs is so... You just feel for him, man. He's just so innocent and kind and all this. <laughs> Cloud's just dumping on him the whole time, because he's an asshole at the start. Wedge. Like a blasshole, uh, but an asshole nonetheless. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, he was Wedge. What the fuck? So confused. So confused. You better be worth Gold the money, break, Mark. Guys, Gold Every last break. gill. Every last gill. I like that line. <laughs> epic. What? There we go. Epic. Poster moment, guys. Cover. No, uh, no, sorry. The actual cover to like... Oh, um... Checkpoint. The actual cover to like the uh, the original PS1 game was the uh, Shinra headquarters, not Macro Reactor.